friends welcome to Damo education if not yet subscribe please subscribe and click the bell icon so in this module we are going to discuss our 13th question two dice are rolled simultaneously and counts are added of first one complete the following table given below so event what is the event sum on two dice will be 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 up to 12 are there so already they are given the probability for 2 and 8 and 12 we are going to check all the probabilities up to 12 and second one a student argues that so we are going to continue our this answer and after that we are going to complete our second one also so here e let's going to take e n let's going to take e n denotes denotes event that that the sum of sum of two dice where n is the sum n is the sum so number of favorable outcomes so actually one dice is rolled means for first dice what is the sample space so let's going to take elementary event that is n1 1 2 3 4 5 6 so these are the possible outcomes n of s1 six possible outcomes then s2 for second dice that is also 1 2 3 4 5 6 so here n of s2 is equal to 6 then how many here 6 is there here 6 is there then how many possible outcomes so total possible outcomes total possible outcomes will be here 6 here 6 so either you can get the Cartesian product here why because first dice may be 1 second dice may be 1 and 2 3 like that so we need to multiply all the numbers with the here so how many total 36 possible outcomes that is let's going to take n of s here total possible outcomes are n of s then here so what is this here n we taken as sum so e n let's going to take first one first one here let's going to take already e2 e2 means what is that here n of e2 so what you can take it here so e2 is number 1 and 2 so what is that so what you will get sum is 2 so n will be equal to 2 that is sum will be 2 either from first one first dice with the first one and second with the second one only one possibility is there so what you can take possible number of possible favorable outcomes that is n of e2 will be equal to what is that one why because if you add one and one from the both then only you will get two so one and one is a possible outcomes then sum will be two n will be two so for that n one then probability of e2 we will get 1 by 36 so this is its came like that 1 by 36 then second one here sum is 3 that is n is equals to 3 then e2 will be sorry e3 will be so this is the favorable outcomes 3 means for the first one we will get 1 second one will be 3 right 2 so 1 plus 2 will be 3 1 plus 2 will be 3 next one so second one what is that maybe here 2 then first one you can get it as chance to get 1 is there any other things no only two possible outcomes so that is n of e3 will be equal to number of favorable outcomes how many so here 2 then what is the probability of getting sum will be 3 so already explain n is equals to sum so e n so we are denotes the e n is the denotes even sum of type sum of two dice so probability of e3 is equals to n of e3 by number of favorable outcomes with the sum as 3 and total n of s possible outcomes n of e3 is 2 by 36 2 1s are 218 za. so what value will get it 1 by 18 so this is 1 by 18 so that is the value then let's going to take third one sum will be equal to 4 then what is the e4 so here sum is 4 then first one 1 so first so in the first sign first dice 1 we will get then what is the third 3 then here 2 then next one 2 why because here 
how I am getting here 2 is first if you take 2 means so if you need to add 2 to the in order to get some is 4 then then here 3 here 1 is there any other possibilities no then n of e4 n of e4 will be equal to 1 2 3 3 favorable outcomes then probability of getting sum will be 4 that is n of e4 by total number of possibilities so that is 3 by 36 3 ones are then 3 twelves are 1 by 12 1 by 12 so for 4 it is 1 by 12 so this is the way to find out the things then what is e5 fourth one number sum will be equal to 5 then what value we are getting here sum will be equal to 5 so that is e5 is so 1 means what is the next one here 4 1 comma 4 then 2 in second one it should be 3 then here 3 it should be 2 then here 4 it should be 1 is there any other possibilities no there are no possibilities after this so n of e5 the sum will be 5 will be equal to 1 2 3 4 so 4 uh, 4 is the thing then what is the probability of getting sum will be 5 that is number of favorable outcomes of sum of two dice will be equal to 5 by n of s n of e5 is 4 by 36 4 ones are then 4 nines are so 1 by 9 so here 1 by 9 so 6 should be come 6 so here what is the sum n will be equal to 6 then what is e6 so first one will be 1 comma 5 why because if you add 1 and 5 then it will commit as what it will commit as 6 that is the case So next one, so 1 comma 5, then 2 comma 6 right, 2 comma 4, then 3 comma 3, then what value we are getting? 4 comma 2, then 5 comma 1, that's all. How many power for n of e6 will be equal to, what is the possible? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, then probability of getting sum as 6, n of e6 by then n of s, n of e6 is 5 by 36, 5 by 36. So that is the case. So what is the probability of getting 6? 5 by 36. Then let's go into take 7th one sixth. So 7. So what is the value here? So 7th one, let's go into take. n will be equal to 7. n will be equal to 7. So then E7 will be equal to, sum should be 7, 1 comma 6, first dice is, will be 1, second dice will be 6, then 2 comma 5, then 3 comma 4, then what you call, then 4 comma 3, then what you can take, 5 comma 2, then 6 comma 1. So these are the possible outcomes, then N of e7 will be equal to favorable outcomes how many are 6 favorable outcomes are 6 then probability of getting e7 that is n of e7 by total number of possible outcomes total possible outcomes 6 by 36 6 ones are then 6 6 are 1 by 6 so what is the value that is 1 by 6 for 8 also same for 9 also same 8 everything is same they are already given. Let's find out for 9. So n is equals to 9. Let's find out for a 9. Then we will going to check for the remaining one. E9. So what is the possibility to get? So with the 1, 1, 8 is not there. 2, not there. 3, 3, 6. 3, comma, 6. Then 4, comma. What is the value? So 1, 2, I because possible. 1 plus 1, it's not possible. 1 plus anything. 1 plus maximum is 7 only. We will not get 9 sum. Then 2 take. 2 plus 6 will be maximum will be 8 only. For that we are started from the 3. Don't confuse. 3 then here 4 comma 5. Then 5 comma 4. Then is there any 6 comma 
3. That's all. Only 4 possibilities are there. So that is n of e9 will be equal to 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then what is the probability of getting e9? That is n of e9 by n of s. n of e9 4 by 3. n of x is the 36. 4 ones are then 4 nines are 1 by 9. So what is the thing? 1 by 9. Then what is the probability of getting 10? So n will be equal to 10. Then what is e10? That will be space. If you go with 3 and 6, it will be 9 only. Then 4, 6 you can go, right? 10 for the 4, 6. So is there any, any possibilities? We can go 1, 9 like that, but it's not usual. So started with 4. So 3 and 6 is the maximum. Start with 4. 4 plus 6. So 4 plus 6 is a 10. Then 5 plus 5 is a 10. Then 6 comma 4. So these are the possibilities. If you add 4 plus 6, then only 10. 5 comma 5 plus 5 is then only 10. 6 comma 6 plus 4, then only 10. So how many number of possible favorable outcomes the sum should be 10? That is 3. Then probability of getting sum should be 10 will be n of e 10 by total n of s. So 3 by 36. 3 by 36, 3 ones are 3 twos are. So p of e 10 will be equal to 1 by 12. So 1 by 12. Then what is the thing here? So 11. n will be equal to 11. Then what is e 11 will be? So sum should be 11. So as I told here 4 and 6 is the maximum one. Before that we will not get any chance. Then 5 and 6. Can you get it like this? For 5 and 6. Yes. How many possibilities are there for 5 and 6? Only 11 will be 5 and 6. Then what is the thing one? Then 6 comma 5. 6 comma 5. So n of 11 will be equal to 2. Then what is the probability? The probability getting 11 will be equal to what is that n of 11 by n of s so n of 11 is 12 by 36 sorry here 2 2 ones are 2 18 are so 1 by 18 so what is the probability 1 by 18 so here 12 how k how got it here is 6 comma 6 6 plus 6 will be 12 so that is 1 by 36 5 is here 5 comma so 4 uh, 8 how we will get so 2 comma 6, 3 comma 5. So like that if you do possibilities then we will get it. So try to check with the uh, 5 by 1, uh, this what, what you can say. Uh, 5 by 36 and 1 by 36. So try to solve it. Thanks for watching. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Our second one, a student argues that there are 11 possible outcomes. 11 possible possible outcomes so what are they 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so so up to 12 are there how many 11 so up to here 11 possible therefore each of them has probability 1 by 11 so probability of getting chance probability each probability getting is 1 by 11. Do you agree with the argument just for your answer? So probability every time you will get chance to get 1 by 11. So when dice is rolled. So answer is what? No. Why? Because the given 11 possible outcomes are not equally likely. So not equally likely to get the chance either 1 by 11. So total possible outcomes are 11. But every, every number will get 1 by 11 chance. How? How? It's not possible. Why? Because let's going to take if it is a only 2 and 3 is there. 2 and 3 only possible 2 outcomes means then it will get while those while dice rolled. Then we will get the either 2 or 3. But here chance is not like that. The sum is also not like that. So there are no numbers outputs possible outcomes. For that equally likely so each of them need not to be has to be probability of 1 by 11 so not
to has probability 1 by 11 why because it is not equally likely so that is the case thanks for watching please subscribe